right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. This is Olympia series. We're 12 and a half weeks out from the Olympia and we're back in the gym today. Back to gym. And we got our shoulder workout to do today. So we got abs and shoulders to do today. So um, this week I'm introducing abs back into my regimen. Especially, you know, you know, it's one thing we gotta be, we've always been by 12 is we're trying to find a perfect blend, um, mix between mass and aesthetics. So no matter how big I get, I gotta constantly keep an eye on how maintaining my waistline and keeping my midsection as flat and as small as possible. So this point of prep where we're not bringing things down, we're not tightening it up, have work I come in. First it starts off once a week and then by 10 weeks out I'll be training abs three times a week just like I did with a road into the Arnold. So this is no different. So today we're going to kick that off nice and simple first because obviously we haven't trained our abs all off season so it's going to be a bit more uh, painful the first time. But then with every week we increase it, we increase the intensity, we increase the workout, we increase the workload. So yeah that's what it is so I'm going to walk you through that today. I'm gonna get the ball going, man. I'm gonna do what we do. So, let's get it. Alright guys, so we moved on from abs, you know, abs was a simple one, we did leg raises, like I said, you know, I haven't played abs all, all through the off season, so this is my first one, only a few sets of leg raises, you know, four or five sets of leg raises, and it's, uh, it already killed me, but the one thing is, I don't want to hammer it too much, because then what happens is, you end up sore and achy for so long from it, that you end up not training it again as soon as you want to again, so we just did a nice simple as the first introduction one into the into that, of I had to my workout. Now we're moving on to shoulders, shoulder, simple one man, Shift shoulder press. I got a spin machine behind the head shoulder press. Now this exercise is a, it's a bit controversial for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people think that it's such a risk of injury and stuff like that when you do these. Well I've done these all my life and I've done this all since my whole career and I know how to isolate my shoulders just perfectly on these. Whilst when I do the overhead, just simple out, press up, shoulder press, I tend to call on a lot more my front delts. But when I do these behind the head, I tend to isolate the middle and red delts a lot better than I would in any other shoulder press machine that we use. So it's one that I've always used and it's one that I've always found very effective. And you find is when you do it this way, you can't really go that heavy on it either. So the weight stays nice and moderate but the return you get from the workout you do is a lot more effective and it feels a lot better as well. So one of them I really like using to solve. 
nice and start off nice and light to warm up the shoulders and get blood flow in there and then start increasing the weight as you go out to it. But it's one of the workouts I love the most when it comes to shoulders. So we're going to head to it.
bitches in the mouth. Great song, when you rock, you got it on the back. So we done our shoulder workout for the day. So we had a nice intense one, but we got it over. I think what we, you know, we started off with abs, you know, front uh, leg raises, and then moved on to shoulder press with Smith Machine behind the back and behind the next shoulder press. Uh, then cable flies, double cable flies, and then single cable flies. And then we got um, reverse pec deck for the rear delts. Uh, back to Smith Machine for the front delts, just nice group pump up on that one. And then, yeah, so nice and tense, simple workout, one of our simple shoulder workout we're getting done. Me and 13, oh, 12 and a half weeks out from the Olympia, you know, it's all go now, every session counts, every workout means something. And from where we are now to the finish, we know we still have room to improve, we still got time to do the improvement as well. And it's just going out in full force until we get to the Olympia this year, so... Until then, you know, fully focused, fully ingrained in it, fully in depth in it. But that's where we're at. So, guys, join us next time for another video. But for now, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you later. See you next time.